Maybe we can sort of define the terms because, you know, I, I like a definition of trauma that comes from the psychoanalytic literature. And it's uh, that trauma is anything that arrives before you have a chance to create it. Right. So there is a way in which all perception is actually apperception. All perception is uh, we dance with the things that we encounter, even at the most passive level, right? The light that's bouncing off the things in this room, we filter it out due to the limitations of what we're able to perceive in our sense organs. And so at the most passive level, there is, a, there is an, an active shaping of the world around us. And what happens when something arrives that we can't shape? that we're not prepared for, that the templates or the heuristics that we have in place to be able to allow us that sort of dance, what if it's too big for those? Boom, right. shatters. And we talk right. about how it, it shatters the texture of the reality we've constructed. So there are two things to think about. There is trauma and the idea that reality as we know it is, is not a given. It's a constructed thing. Not only is it constructed, but it has to be maintained. Right? Uh -huh. So there is, there is an active need for generating this sort of homeostasis that gives us the possibility for a reality that we can exist in. So you're saying maintain the trauma in a, in a certain way that, you know, when we talk about post-traumatic stress, we talk about these ideas of re reoccurring events that mm -hmm. trigger the trauma for mm -hmm. the person. And it's almost a maintenance. It does kind of continue over well, time. Well, an individual who, is, um, who has... Um, undigested trauma because part of inherent in that definition of trauma is at some point the traumatic things we have to find a way to create so often something arrives we can't create it but later on we have to and part of what happens in flashbacks part of what happens in 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 being triggered is there's something that we've yet to be able to dance with in the right way to weave it into the reality that we're in uh, there's a, a pair, they're not the same, but there's a parallel between dissociation and flashbacks and psychosis. Hmm. They're both a nervous system attempting to be able to make the best of a bad job, to do, do something with, what, with something that's occurred. Hmm. Okay. And part of what happens in therapy with folks with, with trauma is, uh, you know, there's a saying that you got to name it to tame it. You have to be able to begin to trace the outlines of the trauma that you've had and to be able to do something with it. Hmm.